Peace, love, and light, my dear Sagittarius. Yes, Sagittarians. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is I, the Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this. How do they feel about you reading for 2020, December 2020? Remember, guys, this is a yeah, <laughs> this is a general reading. So that means that some things may resonate with you, while other things may not. Okay. If you are new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, like, I'm sure, subscribe to your girl. And if you are returning, thank you for returning. I truly love and appreciate all of you guys for supporting me. Like I said, this is a general reading, so this may not be a story or some things may resonate with you while other things may not because it's not a personal reading. Okay? So I'm going to go to the bottom deck to see what happened. And go to the top deck to see how they feel, okay? So you have somebody who most likely was a businessman. You might have been dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. All right. Mm. Hold up. Well, I gotta, I gotta get comfortable. I don't, I don't necessarily see something so, so bad here. It, it looks like, hmm. Only, like I said, look, I got you to spit it the hell out, butterfly. Uh, is it possible that you have two suitors? And that you were in a situation where you had to choose between two people. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You had to let somebody go. Both of these people. Oof, let me get comfortable. Both of these people. They, they're financially stable. Both of these people, they possibly own their own business. One's more affectionate than the other. And it looks like you cut off the one that was the affectionate one. And you took the one that was um, financially stable. You know, you had a king of coins person. And only thing is, after cutting this person off, you found out that this person was selfish that you picked the wrong person ooh you picked the wrong person wow look at that cuz you were looking at the fact that this person was financially successful but what you did not know that know is that this person it was like okay 
they can give you the money, but they're not going to give you the affection. Like, they could buy you nice things, but they're not going to, they, they don't want children, they don't want a family, they don't want a future with you. So you let go of this person, you, you let this person go, you let this King of Cups person go, and now you're regretting the choice that you made, and now you want this King of Cups person back because you realize that money isn't everything that love if, if you would have gotten with this person you may have not been as financially stable but at least you would be able to plan a future with this person have children get married this person you you, you chose the wrong person oh my elbows I'm like I'm shaking and vibrating and stuff oh yeah you you chose the wrong person and now you gosh you're wanting to rush in and talk to this person but you don't know how to proceed right now you, you don't know if you have the right to come back to this person right now because you feel like if you come back to them right now it's like you you have so much you want to say to them but at the same time you lack the courage to do this because you made a bad choice not so much as a bad choice you just picked the wrong one you didn't realize when you made this choice that it would backfire on you that you would be this is a very specific reading as I, I can already tell wow you 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 cut off one you had made a head over heart decision and you went with what you thought was the best choice, but after you made that choice, you realized that this person that you chose wasn't for you. So this is the King of Cups right here. This is the King of Cups. This is how the King of Cups feels. The King of Cups feels as though that there was a missed opportunity between the two of you. That the relationship ended. And so they ran away. You might be dealing with, I mean, you might be dealing with the Virgo. Um eight of swords because and, and now this person they are trying to recover from what has happened to you it's like with the, the, the page of cups that this person could you know feel as though that you, I don't like to say it, but you were naive or immature when it came to love you know that you really didn't understand and know how to truly appreciate what true love is but it's saying that this is, don't get mad at me, Sag community. Love you. I got Sagittarius in my chart, if that means anything. <laughs> um, but in spite of all of that, it's saying that this person had to take some time to themselves to heal their heart. There was something, maybe they, they were trying to push up on you, like trying to force themselves into your life at the time. You know, they most likely knew about that other person. And knew the possibilities of them being cut, you know, not chosen. But it's saying to me that that this person realizes that they did not go about it the right way. That this is something that they have done to themselves. And it's okay because they acknowledge that. They have taken some time away. You probably haven't seen this person for a while. They, they done went quiet on you. And they're just, you know, they... they accepted the rejection but they they're looking at the life like mm, maybe i didn't go about this the right way but it's still saying that this person oh my gosh why won't they stop they're gonna come back oh gosh okay oh they oh i'm sorry <laughs> i'm like ew Ew, they coming back. They haven't given up on you. They're willing to fight. They're, they are willing to fight. They are willing to fight. They know there's other competition. And they said, they don't love you. I love you. I love you. They don't love you. They're selfish. They ain't never going to give you what you want. Ew. This person ain't over this. This is a heavy burden that they are carrying around on them. They're still holding on to the hope for a connection. They willing to fight for you. Good gravy. Ooh. 
I'm pulling, and my heart's pounding all hard. Yeah, they strategizing. They spying. Ooh, they watching you, stalking you. Ooh, 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 ooh. And they know you're not happy. Ooh, quit faking the funk. Ooh, queen of, of wands. Leo Sagittarius, Aries. They, they watching you. Look at that. They falling back. They watching you. They know you're not happy. They say you faking it. Stop acting like you're happy when you're not. Come on. I got something better for you. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, this person loves you. They have so much passion. They want a new passionate beginning with you. They know right now you acting like they ain't there and you but they know you're not happy. Oh, they're gonna come back when you least expect it. Oh. Uh oh, hold on. Eight of coins in the reverse. That's uh messy. <laughs> Sloppy work. Six of wands. A lack of recognition this I don't know what this person is planning okay I, I just I want to talk to them I'm like please stop <laughs> find a better way let them end it first and then you come back I don't know what snake duggery they're trying to oh they're trying to get back with you you might be meeting up with them at, at a party or or fan as if it was past time for family reunions some sort of maybe a holiday party because uh, you know Christmas is coming up but it's saying that this person is trying to slither their way in somehow to see how you are doing they know you're not happy they know you are not happy they know you are faking the funk and they want to come back to you to rebuild this tower they want to come in from out of the cold oh my gosh this person is still heartbroken. Uh, they want to do right by you. If there was something that they have done wrong, maybe that's the reason why you chose the other person over them. Maybe, you know, and like I said with the Eight of Swords, that they went about it the wrong way. Maybe they did something that was not so nice that caused you to build up a wall and block them out and choose the other person over them. But they believe that you are not happy and that they are going to be sneaking their ass back into your life when you least expect it I would say I mean I'm not good on time because I don't do the time thing but I would say that most likely it will probably be within the next two to three months I'm just taking a guesstimate this person still loves you and they know that you you you're, you're like guarded against them I don't know what they may have done but they if they they said I said they said they told me that they didn't go about it the right way. Okay. I have two that I'm pulling. Divine Will. And I didn't even do these for the first six. I'm doing because I just feel the need to. Divine Will. Your life is unfolding in accordance with Divine Will. The Divine Will of your soul. Trust. Let go of fear and apprehension. You are protected and eternally blessed. Have patience, all manifest in perfect timing. And then I have dreaming of you. Someone you love will appear to you in a dream. Uh, they reflect a part of you, a time of remembrance, a time of reflection and healing. Maybe there's something that you need to heal with this person. All right. So what am I looking at? Any further, further information, more information, more, more, more information. What can it say? What can it possibly say? Got me all vibrating. I know you, Sagittarius, what's going on? You have to confront your darkest fears. You are blocking your own blessing. This com this person's coming back to you. They want to share the love. They're tired of feeling helpless and hopeless. They want to turn this around. Right now, you are living in fear 
and you have a closed heart chakra, this person is like, let me in. Let me in. They are, they, they are going to put in the work in the relationship. And they do love you. This person wants to reunite with you. But it's like you're not trusting your gut. You're living in fear. And also you may feel as though that, that you just can't love right. You know, you got to fix your heart chakra and your solar plexus. You know, start meditating, listen to binaural beats, you know, um, do, do, look, crystals work, run, works wonders. I can't, look, I lost my favorite crystal. You know, I'm, I'm just sharing this with you that I'm drawn to certain things. I don't know why it is. It's just the universe, I guess. I will have a thought and then I do the research and find out the thought is, and it's in alignment what. I just came up with in my mind. It's called a download. I bought certain crystals and I burnt, bought certain incense. And it wasn't until I did the research and found out, oh my God, this is my crystal. I had no clue. And the incense, oh my goodness, I had no clue. This is my, you know, my, my, my uh, plant or herb or whatever. Amazing. You get these downloads. So start doing your research. Look at that coming together. This person's coming back. They have not gotten over you. Sure things didn't work out, but they know you're not happy. Quit playing around. You're faking it. Faking it. <laughs> so they're coming back to right or wrong or apologize or whatever. But this person still loves you and cares about you. They felt so they didn't go about it the right way the first time and you chose somebody else, but deep in their heart, they know that you're not happy. They, they're watching you like you faking it. You making all those posts on Instagram and, and on, on Facebook talking about, you know, me and my boo or my bae. And <laughs> meanwhile, they <it's> like, boo, <laughs> boo, hey, <did> it? <laughs> you're not happy. Quit faking it. Well, that is your reading from <laughs> for December 2020 Sagittarius so it seems that you have somebody coming back to you possibly Kent's Breath of Scorpio mm -hmm. and they gonna slip it a little way how you doing how's your mom yeah how everybody doing how's your sister doing yeah I saw your brother Mike not too long ago uh huh yeah he got three kids now damn mike grew up so he's such a good man he grew up to be a real good man so what's up with you what's going down with you uh-huh yeah you feel like getting a drink i'm thirsty you feel like getting a drink after a few drinks in who knows where the story may go that's my reading for you i'm wishing you all the best peace love and light to you all thank you for joining me if this is your your reading let a girl know in the comment section like, comment, share, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. As I always say, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. I'll catch you on the next reading. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.